20 years ago it was only books. At that time the computer edit education was still starting and it came to my mind that it would be nice not just to draw in two dimensions like this object but uh, to do it in the virtual reality in the three dimensions while we basically <laughs> also live in three dimensions. Now the technology has grown very much. It has advanced and as you see it is very easy to do it. From a square you get a cube, then you can paint a face on this cube, like something like a nose and mouth. You easily also uh, color it here. Let's make first blue eyes. and red mouse and so you can do it more complex. Let's have a look what I have done. This is a character that I used to depict the food in my computer game about gut microbes. I shall later explain more about this. If you use some brush you can I can show how to change it easily. You see to add something or to make eyes larger or uh, to, if you can inverse it you can make mouth deeper and so on. Now there are also other characters. This is uh, antibody the, of the typical shape. It walks in the game and helps you to survive. Also macrophage helps you to survive. It is a big one which eats dangerous objects in the body. But as a biologist then you want to be more scientific and uh, as I am a scientist then I would like to make something like a living cell. Oh this is the, the other way. I have to go one step back and here put it to addition of the substance and maybe some other brush. Maybe like something like snake hook. As I see, as you see, I use the radial symmetry so that at the same time I can produce many shapes. And you get something like uh, an algae cell or uh, anything you like. If you make it larger, then and to move, for example, then you can deform it, make it like an amoeba or maybe turn off the symmetry so that you can paint on only on one side. So to make it more polarized and you work further on this. So you can produce more complicated shapes. These are the spicule of a sponge which you can use in different projects. You can also animate, you can put uh, bones inside so that they can uh, walk or they can bend and uh, such stuff. Then there are two ways how to proceed from this. One way is just directly to print these objects with a 3D printer and the other way is to proceed to another program which adds animation and from these animated objects you can make animated virtual reality worlds where you can learn fast and effectively about this stuff. Just to show about uh, these virtual worlds a little. This is my site and here you have the plant cell with uh, photosynthetic, this is respiratory chain and uh, the ATP pump or the muscle structure and function. And you can get this for your mobile phone or your, tabla your tablet. It works on uh, Apple iOS system, this means Apple iPad and iPhone and on Android system so that any Android uh, Tablets or phones are also good for this. And most of this stuff is also free, so just try it and get an impression. These are sensory organs, the eye, 
So I was showing directly from my side now. And the, the next thing is to go, let's re return back to our three dimensional editing program uh, to make a three dimensional print. If we take that face, which we had at the beginning and we would like to print it, then it is very easy. First, we have to find out where it is the floor. So we look at the floor, okay. Okay, it is here. I, I would have to rotate it, but it can face, face also upwards. This is even better. And then I go to 3D Print Exporter, put here the dimensions. I would like it, for example, to have it 100 millimeters long. And then I just uh, export it as STL file. And so I can uh, print it. Uh, I uh, I don't have a 3D printer for a long time. I obtained it in September and now I'm still learning to use it. I could show you some results, but maybe at the end. Uh, now I would like to tell you that my impression is that 3D printer is basically a very misled name. It should be more uh, appropriately named as a, a CNC machine or something which requires a specialist to work with because it is not like printing a sheet of paper you write or paint something on the computer then you output this to printer and uh, it, if everything goes okay and this is typically you get a nice print already in the first trial with 3d printer you have a lot of parameters it is Something like I compare if you bought the car 130 years ago. At that time, not the car was relatively much more expensive as now, but you had to be a hobby mechanics or have employed a mechanics which would then drive all the time with you in case something goes wrong because the car should be repaired on the spot and you needed somebody to know this. For 3D, but there is another very nice thing about 3D printing now. There is There are websites which have a lot of 3D models which you can use for your work. The, one of the most popular is Thingiverse. We can search here, for example, for DNA as biologist. And then you get, I can enlarge it a little, then you get the DNA model, it is free. Typically all stuff here is free. You download here all the files so that you can uh, immediately 3D print them. And uh, you have a description. And what is nice that these 3D files you can import into a 3D editing program like ZBrush, like this one. And then uh, you can work with them further here. So. This way you can easily get to models which you can uh, which you can update in case of course that the uh, author allows this because as you download the files there is a user agreement where it is written either you are allowed to uh, modify the stuff or not. So this is the only thing you have to take care of. Um, this is this was the way to 3D printing. And now we shall go the other way to export it uh, to a program for animation. And let us look how it goes. Here you have, you just, uh, pre, uh, you just press this button and automatically starts the program. I have Maya, which uh, takes care of animation and exporting typically to F FBX, F by FBX file which is uh, then used uh, in another program Unity, which I explain then later on. So this is our cube. Uh, we can enlarge it. You see here above, I, sh I have to change a little so. Ah, now, now it is better, yes. So it looks like the texture should be then put uh, on the top of this. Maybe it is already present and let's have a look. Uh, no, it is not good. But but this is not the point of this uh, lecture now to go all through this stuff. Uh, it was it is just symbolically to.